While we are still learning and trying to create fun and engaging Canvas pages for our students, in today's session, I will be showing you how to create these simple pop-up boxes inside your Canvas page where you click on them and a picture pops up, or you click on them and a text pops up, or maybe you want to have a pop-up in between your paragraph where you click on and you have an image of a brown fox. You click on lazy dog and image of a lazy dog pops up. This could be a fun way of creating or having an interactive canvas page for your students. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I am on my canvas page. The first thing I like to do is to toggle between the rich text editor and the HTML editor. If you've been following my videos from before, you know that the first thing we'll do. But I highly recommend watching my previous videos. I'll leave a link here or here, but definitely in the description box. So let's go ahead. Once I'm in my HTML editor, I will paste my code. And before I go ahead, dive deeper and explain what this code means, I want to go ahead and show you what this code does. So let me go ahead and click save. So the code that we just pasted creates a text box where when you click, it either pops up a message or an image. I'm going to show you both ways how you can add an image, how you can add a pop up message. So once you know what this does, let's go ahead and close it. Let's click edit. And here you have two ways to edit it. You can edit your message from right here. And this is your rich text editor. Let me minimize this. Or you can toggle to your HTML and edit your message right here. So when I zoom in, it says pop up box message or image source or text on your pop up box. So you can do that. So let me go ahead and change this to just this message to if you think you will mess up the code then you can go ahead and edit that using the text editor i like to use html so i like to go ahead and edit here so instead of pop-up message i'm going to say welcome and instead of text on your pop-up box i'm going to say click here just so that you can see and i'm going to save it and it says click here and welcome now let's go ahead so let me click here and welcome now let me close this click on edit and like i said you can edit it from right here from your rich text editor you don't have to click on your html but i want you to listen very carefully the text part is okay but the link you have to be very careful so for the text instead of saying welcome i can delete and say um i'm just going to keep welcome welcome to to my channel please subscribe so that's done now let me zoom in so you understand what i'm doing here now when it comes to the link when you hover over this you know how it says link options for this one you have to be very careful you cannot select everything and delete you cannot do that i highly recommend clicking somewhere in between and typing what you want so i'm going to delete all of this and I'm going to make sure I have at least one letter so it does not completely delete the link or the code. So make sure you have one letter and then let's type in subscribe. And now once you know that, go ahead and delete the one letter that you saved. Again, make sure you have one letter and type in the next. So when you hover over this, everything should be highlighted or it should look like it's a link. Once you do that, let's go ahead and save. Let me zoom out and here is what you have. Welcome to my channel, please subscribe. And if you think the money that's too much for me to look into, you can always go into your HTML editor and instead of subscribe, go ahead and type in, click here, easy peasy. Save it right here, click here. So you have an option, so let me click again, please subscribe. So you have an option to edit from your rich text editor or from your HTML editor. But again, if you're using your rich text editor and you're editing the link or the, the, the text on your pop-up box, I highly recommend leaving one letter or please use your HTML to edit from right here. Now let me go ahead and show you that you can also type in your paragraphs. So I'm going to take all of this, delete it, and here I'm going to go ahead and type in a paragraph. There you go. Save it. 
Now, when my students click here, this whole entire paragraph kind of pops up. Now, the best part is I'm going to click on edit here again. I can actually go ahead and color my paragraph. I'm going to color each one of them with different colors so you can see. I'm just using the highlighter tool and I'm going to save it. And now when my students click here, they have different paragraphs highlighted in different colors. So that's another way to use this one in your classes. I'm going to close this, click on edit. I'm going to select all of this and make sure there is no highlight. And now let me show you, you can use the same technique to highlight your pop-up buttons as well. So I'm going to highlight everything or select everything, go to my highlighter tool and pick the color that I want. And as soon as you pick a color, your accessibility pops up. That means it's telling you, you need a darker color in your foreground. Once that's done, this accessibility is gone. Click on save. And when I click on this colorful pop-up, here is my text message. So you have an option to color your message and you have an option to color your button as well. So this is too much of information. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this and I'm going to say hello. That's it. Save. And here is my quick hello. Now, once that we have done this, now let me go ahead and show you how you can add an image. First thing first, I'm going to zoom in so you can see. So right here in your, this is a much easier way than HTML. So while you're in your text editor, all you have to do is to delete your text and click on image. Go ahead, browse the image that you want. I'm going to browse this lazy dog. I'm going to make sure this is the decorative image and I'm going to click submit. Make sure the image is completely popped, uh, loaded into your canvas page and click save. And once that's done, when I click, here is my image. Easy peasy. I can zoom in. I can adjust the window. I can move things around. There you have it. Now let's go back to edit. Delete this image. Go ahead and plug in a different image from Unsplash. I'm going to type in landscape. I can't even spell, spell, I can't even spell scape today. Um, this is a beautiful image. Let's pick this one. Click submit and save. And when I click, this beautiful landscape image pops up. How cool is that? So now let me show you how you can add multiple text boxes. For that, you have to toggle to your HTML editor. And all I have to do is to go ahead, copy the code that I will be giving you. So I copied it once and I copied it twice. I'm going to leave some space. Let me zoom in. And here, instead of the pop-up message, I'm going to say pop-up one and let that be, uh, let, no, you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say, I am pop-up one. I am pop-up one. And for the text on the box, I'm going to say pop-up one. Oh, pop-up one. The same thing for the next one. I'm going to say I am pop-up two. I am pop-up two because I'm going to have multiple pop-up boxes and I don't want you to be confused. That's pop-up two. And for the text, I'm going to say pop-up two. Why not? And once this is done, I want to toggle to my rich text editor and I want to go ahead and color my pop-up boxes. So this is going to highlight everything. Make it, um, I think that's the first one is blue. So make it yellow and make sure I have a darker foreground. Pop up two, make it into a green and make sure I have a darker foreground and I'm going to click save. 
Now what's going to happen next will be very confusing, so I want you to pay attention here. So when I click on Welcome, as you can see, the pop-up 2 box popped up, pop-up 1 popped up, and the image. Now when I click on pop-up 1, the same thing happens, pop-up 2, pop-up 1, and the image. When I have pop-up 2, the exact same thing happens. So what is going on here is you need to go back, click on edit, go to your HTML editor, and let me zoom in here. I think I zoomed in too much. Let me go into my HTML editor and show you. As you can see, I have box one, so the first pop-up box, and I have another box one that is still a pop-up box, another box one. So when you have multiple pop-up boxes, make sure you number them. The first one is one, so you number them once here, and number it, where is the other one? Right here. So for this one, I'm going to say this is box two, and I know there's another one I have to change, which is right here. For the next one, I am going to say box three, because that's the third pop-up box, and I know I have to change once more, which is right here. So when you have multiple pop-up boxes, you have to go into the back end and make sure HTML knows that when I click on the box one, only the box one information pops up. When I click on pop-up two, only the pop-up two information pops up. Once that's done, let's go ahead and save this. And now let's see if it's working. So welcome, very good. Pop-up one, very good. Pop-up two, very good. There you go. Now let's go ahead and take a look on how to create these pop-up boxes in between paragraphs, something like this, where a picture pops up, the other one is also a picture, but you can customize it for a pop-up message or a picture. So let's go ahead and do that. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and click Edit, and I'm going to start from a blank page. So let me click on this, select everything, and delete. And let me go ahead and paste some random text and I don't want so many paragraphs, I'm just going to have one paragraph. So the goal here is to create a pop-up box for the brown fox and a pop-up box for the lazy dog. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and delete the brown fox and I'm going to paste the code given to you in the description box. So let me go ahead and paste that and there I have it. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy this code and delete the lazy dog and paste it right here. Now, once this is done, your first step is to make sure, remember when you have multiple pop-up boxes, you need to change the name of those boxes. So this is box one, box one, that is good, but the next one should be box two, and this is box two. Once that's done, the most important thing is to go ahead and separate this division. So I'm going to go ahead and take this division, copy or delete, and place it all the way in the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to delete this paragraph and make sure everything is in one line. I'm going to go back, take off the second division as well. Control C, delete, and paste it all the way in the bottom here. You'll see why in a second. And my first text box should say brown fox. My second text box should say lazy dog. And once this is done, I do not want to have any paragraphs. So I'm going to delete all the paragraphs. I want everything to be in one paragraph. So I'm going to delete that and make sure I don't have any paragraphs. Once I checked for that, I'm going to go ahead and here is how my text editor is going to look. So I toggle between the rich text editor and my HTML. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead, select all of this, go in here and upload an image. So I'm going to click on my computer and I'm going to upload. The first image is going to be the first pop-up box, which is the brown frog. And I'm going to click OK and I'm going to make sure this is a decorative image and I'm going to click Submit. I'm going to let that load and once that's loaded, I'm going to delete this message. Now for the second one, I'm going to select, you don't have to select everything actually, you can go ahead and insert a picture. Now I'm going to insert a lazy dog, open this, make sure this is a decorative image, click it, click submit. 
wait until it loads and delete this message and now I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to save and once this is done when I click on brown fox the brown fox image pops up when I click on lazy dog the lazy dog image pops up now if you want to go ahead kick it up a notch you can always go ahead and highlight these to different colors but make sure you make the foreground darker because canvas is going to alert you for the accessibility there you go now if you don't want to have this pictures for lazy uh, for the lazy dog or the brown fox you can as well as delete this one and type in this is a lazy dog let's go ahead and see what happens save and this is a brown fox when i click on lazy dog this is a lazy dog but i think i like the picture so if you want a picture edit click plug in your picture of that little lazy dog click open decorative image make sure the picture loads first i want to delete this and save it and there i have a picture of a brown frog and there i have a picture of a lazy dog but the most important thing is what happens in your html you will take off the division you will take off the division from your code the division id where it says div you will take that off and put it all the way in the bottom you will take that off and put it all the way in the bottom so make sure you rewind this quickly to see what part i took off and copy it all the way in the bottom so just to show you one more time i'm going to copy the code here just to recap this is the code that is given to you you will take off the division if you're trying to have those pop-ups inside your paragraph so you will take off these divisions i'm going to control c delete it and you will place it all the way in the bottom of your page so that it doesn't interrupt in between and again i highly recommend quickly rewinding the video taking a look on how this is done and make sure you do it correctly in your canvas pages I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned how to create these fun pop-up boxes where you can pop up an image or a message for your students. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know there are educators who are wanting to make the Canvas pages fun. I will leave a link in the description box below for Canvas playlist. Don't forget to check it out. And I will also leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams and technology. Don't forget to comment in the comment section below. Was this too overwhelming for you? Do you enjoy such videos? Do you want to learn more of HTML coding and make your Canvas pages interactive? Like always, happy teaching. Please take care of yourself. And I will see you again in my next Canvas training video.